Four years ago, WKU's homecoming fell just three days before the presidential election, prompting the theme Big Red for President. Well, it seemed natural to do another Election Day tie-in to celebrate the WKU spirit. It's an exciting time to be returning to the Hill. We really expect a record crowd this year with so much excitement around campus with, you know, a capital campaign that we just ended that was very successful. Our, all of our athletic programs are doing well. We expect a really big turnout for Saturday for tailgating and for the game. The campus is also having a lot of fun with this year's theme. Red, White, and WKU. The committee chose Red, White, and WKU because homecoming this year falls two weeks prior to the presidential election. So I think you'll see a lot of the WKU spirit and then also some patriotic spirit throughout homecoming activities. The homecoming queen candidates even played off the theme for this year's community service project. We wanted to have a way to kind of give back and um, honor those that have, who serve our campus and our community. So that's where we reached out to um, our service men and women and invited them to come and have a dessert reception in, in their honor. The reception is one of many activities the 22 candidates are involved with during this jam-packed week. It's just a true honor to be recognized as having spirit and, and being able to represent Chi Omega and what Chi Omega is. When I first came here to WK, I never thought that I would be on the homegrown court. So it's been a, a definite honor and definite blessing. The candidates will ride in tomorrow's homecoming parade that begins at 5 p.m. on College Heights Boulevard and ends at Fountain Square Park. The Queen will be crowned during halftime of Saturday's game against Louisiana Monroe. Kickoff is at 3 p.m. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.